So when I think about affordable or cheap hotels in Europe, I often think about the usual suspects like Travel Lodge and Premier Inns, but there might actually be an alternative. I've just returned from a couple of days stay in Birmingham in England, and I stayed in an easy hotel, which is a chain you might not be familiar with, but they definitely aimed at the more affordable budget hotel market. Now you might recognize the branding and the name and has been around since 2005. In fact, Easy Hotels has accommodation in some of the most popular tourist destinations around Europe. And they're always in really fantastic central locations. So the first thing I did is check TripAdvisor and have a look at the Birmingham Easy Hotel that I stayed in to see what people thought of it. And to be fair, the overall rating of 4.5 wasn't a bad rating at all. That certainly wouldn't have put me off. But there were a few comments on there that did worry me. I've heard a few rumors and seen some other YouTube videos about how poor some of the accommodation can be but I had no expectations. I knew this budget hotel was aimed at the very minimalist and the very low end budget accommodation. So I didn't have very high expectations. So since stopping at the Birmingham Easy Hotel, I have done a little bit of research into the company. And it seems like the majority of those hotels, the branches in different locations are franchised, which means EasyJet has the branding and the concept of the hotel, but the actual locations are often individually owned. So often you're gonna find that the quality of the cleanliness and helpful service and the welcome at the reception can vary depending on the owners and the staff. Now I'm really pleased to say that the accommodation that I stayed in in Birmingham, I'm gonna give you a tour of the room in just a moment, was very good. My actual overall experience was yeah, pretty good. It was more than I expected, to be honest. The welcome at reception was very nice. It was very simple, straightforward. I just needed to provide some photographic ID, so provided my driving license. And I was issued with a room key and a key for the electricity to switch the lights on in the room. All very simple, given directions where to go to my room, and I found it very quick and simple. It took less than five minutes to actually get checked in. And the other thing I liked about this particular Birmingham Easy Hotel was the location. It is literally two minute walk from the central train station and it is a fantastic destination if you are stopping over or you're just having a one or two night stay there. So let's take a look at the room tour and I'll show you around the room that I actually got. There are various options you can get regarding booking the room. The very, very basic room, which everybody told me to avoid, is just basically a very small box room with no windows at all. But I splashed out and paid an extra £10 and actually got a room with a window. And in fact, it was a really good view and a decent size window. Again, I've seen some videos and some images where people got literally just a, a tiny two foot square window. But I actually had a full size window which let plenty of sunlight in and it was an adequate view. It wasn't certainly any panoramic sky views or anything like that. It was just over back street in Birmingham, but it was absolutely fine. And so you know, I paid a grand total of 74 pounds and 99 pence for my one night stay. Now that does not include any facilities like tea or coffee. You do get Wi-Fi, you do get a TV, and you have the facilities in the reception. There's a snack machine and a coffee machine, but you do obviously need to pay extra for those. Bear in mind, if you are gonna stop here, it is a very, very budget accommodation with very little amenities inside the room. But let's have a look at the room itself, see what you think. Okay, so first impressions, actually quite good. Very small rooms, which I knew it was going to be. And I did actually order a window on this occasion. You can get these rooms with or without a window, but I paid the extra 10 pounds to get a window. So let's have a quick look around. Okay, so we have the usual light switch. We have the air conditioning. We have snazzy little coat hangers, just the two of them. Oh, we do actually have a TV, that's pretty good. Double bed, 
fresh towels. Remote control for the TV and nice lighting. It's actually pretty clean as well. Some graphics there. That's the air conditioning there. We'll see what that, how noisy that is later on this evening. Um, as we, and as we paid for, we have some views of the back streets in Birmingham. Yeah, pretty good. Windows on the outside could do with a little clean, but that's not too much of a problem. We will do the, uh, we'll check the pillars, we'll do the bed test. It's actually, yeah. We'll have a closer look at that later on, but that looks pretty clean. Ooh, they've got a black hair there, but overall, it doesn't look too bad at all. Have the windows there. <laughs> Let's have a look at the bathroom. Wow, I mean, this looks quite snazzy. Push the door open. Very small, but it looks like it's got everything we need. We've got some hand wash there, plug socket for razors, shower. Looks pretty good. Actually, quite clean. Fresh towel, toilet. Yeah. Absolutely fine. There's no mat or anything unless that is my floor mat. Yes, that's the floor mat. And then the towels are over there on my bed. Somewhere to hang your towels up. Yeah, it's functional. It's very clean as well. Yeah, I quite like that. So the room to give you an idea is, I'd say about four meters wide by about three meters, which is, as I was expecting, quite small compact rooms. You definitely feel the easy jet vibes of all the orange branding everywhere, the door, the coat hangers, a little bit of storage. What's that, is that storage? No, it's just the bed base. Floor's clean, it's been swept and mopped. Plug sockets by the side of the bed. Yeah, that's for the orange lights. So I've actually heard quite a lot of bad negative reports about these places. People saying it was uh, untidy, it was dirty, the rooms were very small and boxy, and some of the staff was actually unhelpful. But my experience on checking in was absolutely fine. The young lady on the counter just asked me for my ID and told me the relevant information, what floor I was on. The uh, card was for the lights and one was for the door. And very friendly, yeah, so no problems whatsoever. But yeah, for the price you pay in Birmingham city centre, this isn't bad at all. I could have paid £64 for the room without a window. I paid the extra £10 to get the room with the window. And yeah, I'm glad I did actually. It's definitely worth having a bit of sunlight and natural light and some views over. Birmingham city centre. So obviously that does not include any breakfast or anything like that. In fact, tea and coffee, you have to go downstairs. There's a little machine in the reception in the lobby and that costs two pounds per coffee. And then there's a snack machine and that is pretty much it. So my overall opinion of the EasyJet Hotel in Birmingham was actually quite pleasant. It was exactly what I expected. A very small but clean and purposeful room. It's ideal if you're going out for the night or you're going on a bachelor party or a hen party or even just visiting friends for the odd night or two. I certainly don't think I would want to stay more than two nights there. There's not even a chair to sit down or a table to work at. It is literally just somewhere to get your head down. Now I am going to try and visit a few more easy hotels across Europe to see if I can get a comparison between the different ones. Like I say, don't forget most of these are owned by franchisees, so how one person runs a hotel might be different from somebody else, and somebody's cleaning standards may not be the same as somebody else's. Like I say, I've read some horror stories about some of the rooms, but I can only judge it by the experience I had. But as you saw from the video, it's a very simple, clean, practical room. It's all I needed 
for a couple of nights stay to see some friends. Now overall, if you compare that in price, I tried to book the travel lodge and I tried to book a Premier Inn to get a difference in prices. And the prices for those was ranging from about 80 pounds to about 110 pounds. So this certainly was the cheapest option I could find in Birmingham. And if you are looking for a cheap budget hotel, wherever you are going through Europe, easy hotels might be something you should consider. Like I say, don't have high expectations. You are going to get a bed and a bathroom, and that is about it. But hope you enjoyed that. I hope you found it helpful. And thanks for joining me in this video. If you liked it, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any more hotel or resort reviews that I do. But for now, thanks for joining me. I'll see you very soon.